I've always been a very hands-on person um, and I did furniture design and technology in year 11 and 12 in high school. Really, really liked it from the, the sketching through to the design to making the actual project and working with all the machinery, the power tools, etc. So I thought, you know what, I might start an apprenticeship into this and I specialised in the solid timber side of the industry. That was starting to decline a little bit. I was actually a foreman at my factory at the time and was sort of looking at other options and what was available to me. So. When I saw this position here for the academic support technician, it was very much along the lines of what I was already doing out in industry um, on a much larger scale. From there, I started doing some relief lecturing, started to really enjoy it and actually applied and won a position in 2011 as a full-time lecturer. <laughs> my lecturer is actually now my boss. A good cabinet maker, you need to have a fine eye for detail, a bit of finesse. You need to enjoy what you're doing, you need to enjoy working with your machinery the drive, the passion to want to know how things go together, to make things. Ultimately, we're in there, we're putting furniture in people's houses, we're building their kitchens, their bathrooms. We need to make sure that they're absolutely happy, so you should definitely have some pride in the work.